Hi everyone, welcome back to my cooking channel, Easy Cooking with Sarahs. Thank you again everyone, I will always thank everyone for subscribing and sharing and commenting and giving me a feedback as feedbacks as usual. I really appreciate it, thank you so much. And from, for everyone from all over reaching out to me, it, uh, it's amazing. So today I want to make a simple dish that we, from Trinidad, we make all year round. Diwali time and all year round is a vegetarian dish. It's called dal. It's made with split peas and um, turmeric seasoning, fresh seasoning, garlic, onion, whatever fresh seasoning you have. But today I want to make, um, I want to make a little, make it a little different and a little easier. So. For me, dal is a little bit difficult to, to boil. It takes longer when you're in a rush, when you come from work and you're ready to make a dish, the dal, if you don't soak it properly or don't put it in the pressure cooker, it takes long. So today I wanna make red lentils, the same process we would do for dal, or some people would, will look at it, will know it as um, split pea soup or lentil soup. But we put it like on a bed of rice, a bed of white rice or a bed of brown rice with some sort of um, chutney or, or takari or something like that. So the reason why I like red lentil is a low glycemic index. It has a low gl glycemic index. And if, every, if you're watching your health, I prefer this. So you, you kill two birds or one stone. It's like dal and it's it's better for your stomach. It has more protein and everything. So I am using, I have, let me show you now. I have six cups of water boiling. I, I reduced the heat, but I had it boiling. I'm gonna add one cup of red lentils. This cooks so fast. Let me tell you, now it's, so that is one cup of lentils. I'm gonna add, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of jeera or cumin, and a teaspoon of salt. Now you can add more salt, less salt, more jeera, less jeera. How you know you you add it to taste. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to reduce the heat to medium and I'm going to add some fresh seasoning add as much as you like this is to your preference so I'm adding about that's two tablespoons three tablespoons but now I'm gonna add some some curry leaves or we know it uh, in Trinidad as carapile. So I'm gonna add a few leaves of that. I'm gonna add a whole pepper to flavor. I'm not gonna pop the pepper. I'm not gonna burst the pepper. I'm just gonna add it for flavor there. And let it boil again. It's only four minutes since it's boiling. Let's cover it as we put it on low. I'm gonna let it boil for another five minutes, which will be total of 10 minutes. So guys, after 10 minutes of boiling on the medium heat, I'm just gonna add a few, a few little pepper, bird pepper from my backyard, a couple cloves of garlic, just so that, and I already added some of this, and my little spin to it is um, a quarter cup of coconut milk this gives it such a delicious you can have it like a soup or you can have it on the bed of rice like I said before so that is going for another two to three minutes because the lentils is actually cooked look at the ten minutes the lentil is cooked so in the meantime I given it two more minutes the dal or lentil Guys, I want you to try this lentil and let me know if you can get the red lentil. I've never tried it with a brown lentil, but if you put turmeric in it, it look, I'm sure it's gonna look. This is so yummy. So yummy, yummy, yummy. I 
this is coming out. Look at that, guys. You see that? Oh, I'm going to turn this off. Taking 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes max to bring this delicious, delicious, healthy. Just tell me what. Oh, man, I want you to try it. Please, guys, please try it and let me know. So guys, here we have it. I have the dal or the lentil as a soup. So you can have that. If you feel if the weather is cool or cold and you want to have some lentil soup or dal, you have it like that or split pea soup, however you call it. And then I have, I have some here with some basmati rice, which looks yummy. And then I have some brown rice with quinoa. Mix brown rice with quinoa and the dal. 
So you try it, you try it with the, this is a very healthy version, the quinoa and the brown rice with the, with the lentils or dal. This is the okay one and this will be just right. <laughs> this is like the three bears. This will be just right. Look at that. That pepper did not break or did not burst because you don't want soup to be spicy. Now, so I left the pepper hole. It's just for flavor. Let's, let's taste now. I think I will taste the more healthy version. So guys, this is what I'm going to about to taste is the brown rice with the brown rice, if you can see it. Look at that, the brown rice with the lentil or dal. And remember it has a little bit of coconut milk, so let's, let's go for it. This is so, so delicious. You are not gonna miss the meat. It is healthy, you are not gonna feel guilty. Guys, try it and let me know. Thank you everyone for, keep watching my videos. Thank you so much for commenting. Continue to subscribe, continue to share so that people could subscribe and grow, have let my, my channel grow. I really appreciate everybody. If you have a recipe that you want me to try to make it easier, someone actually did ask me on the comments if I could make dal. So this, I can't remember the person, but this is the easy version of dal. So continue sharing my videos um, and thank you again. See you soon.